Hello YouTube, this is Asasu5 and today I'm reviewing the Yojito, Yojito uh, uh, Cuban Yo-Yo or Handlon. Uh, I just remembered that I have this item ready to be reviewed and uh, it took me seeing a video on a hand-painted fishing lure for me to remember that I had this. And uh, some of you may or may not know I love saltwater fishing. I love fishing at the beach. Uh, at the coast. I love the ambience, or ambience, however you pronounce it. Uh, I, I love fish that pull back, that are a little bit more difficult to get in. I just love everything about it. Girls in bikinis. So yeah, it it's a lot more fun to, to me than to fish uh, freshwater. And this is a Cuban yo-yo, or um, handline. And the reason why I got this is because for several years I was looking for a travel fishing system. I looked at the I've used about three uh, uh, pocket fishermen's uh, and they all broke on me. I used a pin rod and reel and that was very interesting. <laughs> that broke on me and that was a very intense fight and with no win with no uh, gain. Uh, but this is bulletproof. This will not break. <laughs> it's made out of a 3.5 inch diameter aluminum by one inch thick. There it is. This is a Cuban yo-yo. Uh, this is a relatively expensive model. Uh, you can get them in different. You can get the Cuban yo-yo, the traditional ones, in a lot of different sizes. And some people uh, uh, surf fish with them. That you know they're like that big, but they're made out of plastic and they're really really cheap. Anywhere from five to about fifteen dollars. Uh, this is $50. It's machined aluminum, has a lot of extra features in it, and uh, I'll go over those. Uh, but yeah, I love saltwater fishing, and this what this felt uh, filled the need that I needed, or this uh, th this uh, fit the niche that I needed. A compact, easy to transport fishing system. So anytime I just feel like going to the coast. Uh, which is about three hours away, uh, I can bring this with me and not have to um, strap down rod and reels on the top of my Jeep. And uh, so this, I, I fish a rollover pass with this. I, can, I haven't tried fishing out of a kayak with it, but I'm sure I could do it. Um, but this is a good bug out bag fishing system. It's a good backpacking fishing system, or you can just leave it in your vehicle. Uh, those two different uh, kit models. Uh, you can buy these in kits that come with your hook line, sinkle, sinkle, and all the tackle comes into a small pouch that fits in this area. Then uh, that that pouch and this reel fits in this pouch. And uh, uh, you can get the saltwater variant or the freshwater. I obviously got the saltwater variant. The difference between the two kits is that the saltwater variant has 30 pound test line and circle hooks and the um, freshwater one has 20 pound line and J hooks and um, I got the saltwater variant very happy with it caught about three to five fish with it I can't remember exactly how much I have some pictures of um, the two nice little fish on uh, my uh, Instagram account for those of you who are interested in my Instagram account, there it is right there, Austin Kerbertson H5. And uh, I'll show you one of my fish, if it's not too far away. There it is, that was my sheep's head. I have a kind of a goofy grin on, but uh, those may live in the salt life. And uh, the thing about this uh, fishing system is uh, this is both a pro and a con, but it's the fight. The fight that you have with the fish with this thing is very intense. You have to concentrate. You have to be focused because this is not that wide. It's about an inch in, uh, thick. And um, put your fingers in the holes like this. And when you reel it in, you're doing this motion. And um, in the excitement, you can actually end up wrapping the string around your fingers, which is not good, or you can miss completely. And sometimes you have to release some line out to bring it back in. So it's a very intense fight, which can be a good or bad thing. Maybe if you're fishing for food, you don't want to have to worry about losing the fish. If you're fishing for sport, you want a challenge, 
this is a good way to go. But it's very durable, very compact, very packable, and it works. In fact, uh, there was a woman on uh, Naked and Afraid that caught several piranhas with this. I myself have seen a guy catch a, a pretty good sized bull red with one. I caught a rat red sheep's foot and some gaff tops hard heads. Uh, my cast to catch ratio is not good. I've casted this thing hundreds of times. I only caught a handful of fish. And, a, and just a few of those ended up on my uh, Instagram account. But this is cool. This fits the niche that I was looking for. And uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, and uh, the Yoito uh, owner and inventor, uh, he has a YouTube account where he teaches you how to rig it and uh, how to fill it up with line or line it. Uh, but yeah, uh, this can handle big fish, little fish, medium sized fish. And it fits in your hand. Also, something worth noting, uh, traditional Cuban yo-yos don't have these holes in them, and that's for you to get a better grip and fight the fish. You can also cast this one-handed uh, because of these holes. Uh, and you can also attach this to your uh, uh, bow and bow fish with it. As you can see, uh, it's kind of sloped off right here, and when you throw the line, it peels line off, and you're able to cast it a, a pretty good distance. And there's several different ways to cast this thing. I'll probably make a separate video on how to cast it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a little bit more challenging to use than a conventional rod and reel, but it sure is makes up with uh, the challenge uh, being... Um, feeling fulfilled that you did something a little bit more challenging also is very compact good for bug out bags backpacking camping uh, and uh, it it's much better than any pocket fisherman or pin rod on the market and it's very very simple in theory but very uh, focus intensive in pr use so that's it hope y'all have a great day um, you know I don't know. I'm rambling now. I hope y'all have a great day. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.